Whoa. This place is, <laughs> it's definitely crumbling. Oh no, I better get out of here, I think. everyone so we're actually today on a bit of a walk and we come across this big clearing in the middle of the forest and we've stumbled up across this at the moment we have no idea what it is what's happened to it how long it's been abandoned but we're gonna go and try and find out looks like there is only one way in through this gate which is unfortunately locked but I just need to see inside John's just he's getting in there he's getting in there you're right don't damage yourself <laughs> Okay, so after a bit of a climb, I am in. Let's go find out what this place is. Old metal gate. It's completely overgrown in here. Ooh, nice gothic style arch. Looks like this could have been an old church or a chapel. Ah, okay, so it looks like I'm at the main entrance. I better be really careful because by the looks of it, that roof has caved in. after this place to be honest. See we've got a bit of snow overnight. See if we can get over here have a look. Completely overgrown as you can see. Shame really, because this looks like it was quite a nice building. Ooh, what was that? Something's going on in here. Let's go and look. Wow. Looks like others have been in yet. <sighs> Something's definitely crumbling. Doesn't sound too good to be honest. <clears throat> surprising really look that roof up there looks quite new it's you know that's in really good condition so I don't know how long this place has been abandoned oh, 
this is quite sad. Looks like some gravestones or tomb markers with inscriptions on them, all smashed up. How old they are, I have no idea. Someone here in 1984. Hi, I haven't heard John for a while. He's in there, doing the airbags. I couldn't get in. To be fair, I am covering from COVID. And I don't have COVID now, but I've had COVID, it's horrible. Um, so I'm just taking it a bit easier. But anyway, I can't hear him. So I'm just checking in to make sure he's okay. Whoa, this place is, <laughs> it's definitely crumbling. Oh no, I better get out of here, I think. It's almost like it's thawing. The ice we had overnight is thawing and some of the plaster is falling off. Time to go, definitely time to go. So I'm just taking the opportunity to film this pretty tree. Um, Jay's just doing their backs at the moment. I, I, I have to credit it to him and not to me because I couldn't get over that fence. I'm sort of on lookout because there is a public footpath just over there. Um, what you can see there is it's like, a, it's like an old sort of I don't know, boundary, wall, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and on it is actually etched uh, POW, so prison of war. Um, it's a date, 1946, and it says German. So I don't know the history of this place, but I'm guessing there was a German prisoner of war here, kept here at some point. All good. All good, yeah. 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 Oh, I haven't got any photos. I go back. Yeah, I'll come back. Right. Do you want me to help you? Here he comes. Scaling the fence. Out of the way. <laughs> Everyone out. Okay, so here's what we have graded this hide and seek episode as. So, firstly, the scenery. We are giving this one a 3.5. Um, reason for that is mainly because of familiarity. Um, it's a place that we go to regularly, not so much the actual urbex itself, but the place around it. Um, it's quite a it's quite a popular place as well. So scenery-wise, it's it, it's pretty, um, but we have probably seen places that are even more spectacular. So yeah, what would you give for people in Nanje? Probably about a four. So yeah. um, the way we're rating this is zero stars is absolutely packed, like thousands of people. 
and five stars would be the place completely to ourselves, not seeing a soul. So for this one, we were rated four. Like we only saw a few people in the car park. And a group. <laughs> we, yeah. We did see a group, but groups are good because groups don't tend to talk so much. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw that one group. They didn't say anything to us. And then it was just a few people at the car park. So for that one, I would say it was a success. Yeah, four. I think I agree with you on that. Yeah. Four. Um, next category, hiding places. Um, so obviously with hide and seek, there has to be places to hide because otherwise it's not hide and seek. Um, obviously, like I said a moment ago, it's a popular place. There are lots of people around. Um, it just gets busier and busier throughout the year. But this place itself, the Urbex, it, it was really quiet. So we've given hiding places, like I say, people in is four, hiding places, we've actually given it a three. The reason we've given it a three is because whilst the urbex site itself was really really quiet um you are very exposed there and you're out in the open so there's not really much scope to hide obviously if you can get into the urbex then you can definitely hide in there when you jay you can it's quite hard to get into you wouldn't be able to make a quick escape so you might need to i don't know hide behind a tree or something like i did <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> find a hedge but yeah. yeah there's not there's not um even in the sort of surrounding woodlands in the area um it's not the easiest of woodlands to just jump into the trees like there are in certain places so yeah i think free that one that's fair yeah i think so um so next is the weather <laughs> so you might have noticed in the video and in the video title this is the one with snow now we mentioned that because here in Pembrokeshire we don't get much snow at all never hardly um we're lucky to get it once every few years yeah once every few years if we're lucky but the day before we had quite heavy snow yeah and there was still a lot of it on the ground on this day um it was a nice cold crisp day the sun was out mm. there wasn't much wind so i would say just for the uniqueness of pembrokeshire to have snow i'd give this a five yeah i agree I think, um, like I say, just for the fact, the novelty of having some snow, because we don't get snow, we really don't. So yeah, usually standard weather here in the winter is sort of grey, like 60 mile an hour winds and yeah. everything else. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, five out of five for the weather. Finds, I'm I'm only gonna add a little bit on this one because I think Jay did most of the finding on this one. Um, but I would say, I think we're giving this one a four, did we say? Yeah. Um, for, like from my side, obviously finding the the prison of war, um, you know, sort of engraving on the wall, that was that was really interesting, um, and you know, it's something to take back with you afterwards and think, oh, I'll go and read read up about this. You know, we have found found out quite a bit about that, which we can um, add in the um, into the description if need be. Um, but yeah, that's so that was my find of the day. But Jay, what would, do you want to tell me a bit about what was your find of the day? Yeah, I think I think that the the POW inscription was really cool. And then obviously inside the urbex itself there was lots of graffiti some of it dating back to 1984. that's fascinating isn't it, it is. like to think that somebody was in there it, mm. unless of course they were just trying to go a bit orwellian and yeah you know, maybe yeah but it looked quite, you know it looked quite old it, it was quite a strange building because it was obviously all overgrown and crumbling mm. but then the beams of the roof looked brand new it sort of didn't really match up but, yeah. You know, there was there was lots of graffiti. There was the the smashed up gravestones. It was it was just a very interesting building. Absolutely. So yeah, I think I would score finds a four. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So our final score for this um, outing of hide and seek overall is going to be a four, but we're actually going to bring it down to three point five. Um, <laughs> mainly for the following reason that I was I just literally tested negative for COVID the day before and I was just recovering so yeah I I, did, I, I think <laughs> give, moving it down to a half <laughs> because Jay you did you did the effects didn't you I, I think that's only fair if only what if only half of us can really take part then I think we knock off half a point yeah so yeah uh, for this hide and seek adventure I think we scored that uh, 3.5 yep um, do you agree with us or would you score it differently? Let us know in the comments below. Yep, 
and if you enjoyed this and you want to hear more because there will be wilder I, I promise you in fact there'll be wilder adventures even more so um yeah feel free to subscribe and you'll see it all <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks thanks okay bye